Patricia and Peter Adler have done a great service in giving us this book, The Tender Cut. They've helped us to see and understand far better the world of people who injure themselves, hurt themselves in response to their own particular needs. It is a study that is a help to understand the behavior and also to understand the um, uh, the methodology that's used. On the next uh, page of the uh, slide, the next slide, we understand a little bit about the tender cut. I had a student in a class one time who sat on the front row and um, pulled hair out of his own head. It kind of grossed me out. You could see places on his head where he was growing bald from this process. Why did he do it? I uh, also have been personally acquainted with two young women, both of them quite beautiful, and both of whom had uh, sisters, twin sisters, who were raped and killed. Both girls, both women, uh, began to gain weight purposely, and part of the reason they said they did it was they were going to make themselves unattractive, so what happened to their sister would not happen to them. Perhaps that's also a an evidence of this matter of uh, self-hurting. Self-injuring is cutting, burning, or branding, even breaking bones of some kind of self-injury. In, it's deliberative, deliberately hurting the body uh, to uh, try to make a point. It was an obscure practice, but it's becoming to uh, be seen very much more today. The Tender Cut book says that uh, Self-injury should not be seen as a suicidal gesture as it had been in the past. It is actually, they think, a self, uh, self-injury is often a coping mechanism, some form of teenage rebellion or depression uh, that um, tries to convert some unbearable emotional pain into a manageable physical pain. Based on this study that, they, that the Adlers made, uh, they made 150 interviews with self-injurers from all over the world uh, with thousands of um, Internet uh, posts and uh, communiques. The, the study was a longitudinal study that went over 10 years and not only followed the people who were in the study, but also the subject, where they found that in recent years, uh, Self-injurers have become a subculture that uh, communicate with each, with each other and have their own vocabulary and interest. This is an important study. It uh, shows us that um, uh, self-injury may either be a practice for self-discovery or a cry for help, but it shows us in sociology how a study can add information that we didn't have before. It is a very important study.